we're with David, and he's talking with his Wrinkle in Time, Part 2, Experience, Life Experiences. Yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. So, yeah, um, David's here again, and they were talking about Wrinkle in Time. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, you know, it kind of really might have ended ended medicine wise but it but where I am now is in a timeless and measureless place anyway you know how did your wrinkle in time how does the book and or that idea relate to how your life experience went from getting into the wrinkle and coming out of it I got into it and when I was into it it was full of people that were just mindless, you know, they were just animals, or they're just existing, or they were following some things that were just not worth following, that was horrible, and everybody was kind of possessed in a way, it was really bad, and, uh, and I was trying my hardest to make good out of that, but it never worked, it was always that bad, and it was not going anywhere, and Nobody was doing anything cool at all. And one day my dad was like, would you want to come with me to Jacksonville for the day? I'm like, hell yeah, get out of here. And next thing I know, I'm there and they're buying me clothes and a toothbrush and praying for me and uh, prophesying about maybe a calling I have. I don't know. And I received this gift, this Holy Spirit prayer gift. And... I followed that for about 25 years, learning to play the blues and uh, following the Holy Spirit. And um, it wasn't until maybe today, and I, I've been spending all my energy trying to get out of that wrinkle in time, which never worked. You know, I tried everything. I tried to get away and create something and all that. It never worked, you know. But now, you know, I mean, I'm kind of not in that anymore. And I've come into a, a, time, a manifestation that doesn't even have time anyway. So Into a new world or a new, uh, new yeah. space or beingness. Yeah, so I kept thinking I was supposed to get back before the rink on time started, but that never worked. Right. And so really what had to happen was I had to become come into a whole new world to for me to find what it is about, you know. What did you realize today? You said mentioned today as an event of, of uh, an awareness of your being coming through the this uh, vision quest and uh, and shamanic uh, search and now well ever since Jacksonville I got on a vision quest and that was great in a lot of ways but at the same time it was really hard and it never really worked I mean it worked but it was never I was never fulfilled you know it wasn't until I learned that it had nothing to do with me and I need, there's no reason for me to strive at all because it had nothing to do with me. And so I was trying so hard on that vision quest just to get my dream, and it never worked. So it wasn't until I realized it's all this part of this flow of love. It's all this flow of, of free awareness, you know? And life, like you said. Yeah. yeah. and that's, Real life. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what... I come into so I never really came into the wrinkle in time and then get out of it back in that same world and was okay more okay we have one minute anyway so that's my story and uh, now I'm just you know just trying to be in that that love and that awareness and that's all I'm saying yes and maybe with the wholeness of, of a reality of, of being with and sharing with those and all that will be of this. It has no uh, agendas and no spaces and no religions or businesses or science or ideas. Mm -hmm. 
And that's very hard because you're out in the middle of unknown, mm -hmm. but you're at the very front of the unknown, and that's a good place to be. Yeah. That, that's a good summation, yeah. Cool, David, thank you. Terrific.